Hi, today I'm doing a video on making a transparent background. In this case we're doing an apple on a table and uh, the table is such that you can't use the standard method that I used the last time which was to take the magic wand tool and cut out all of the background. Uh, the reason being it's got multi colors in the background. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to undo that I'm going to take away a lot of the background by using the lasso select tool and uh, we'll just draw a line around the apple and we'll not worry about getting it too close so this way what's going to happen is you're uh, getting rid of most of the background without getting rid of the apple and you got to be kind of careful not to go within the apple now once you have a selection there, what you want to do in this case is you'll go to view or edit and you'll take invert selection. So now the outside of the apple is the selection. Now you'll hit your delete key and that will take away most of that. Now I don't need all of this extra background here. Uh, you may need the background depending upon how you're positioning your image but in this case I don't so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the select tool I'm going to uh, select just what I need which is the apple itself and I'm going to cut away the rest and there's a sh key shortcut to this but I'll use this uh, upper menu so you can see exactly how this is done and then you crop to selection Okay, now we're going to have to do some more uh, work on, on this close range stuff. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and resize my image up. I'm going to add a thousand to it in both directions and I'm going to maintain the aspect ratio. That way I see a lot clearer picture of what I'm doing here. So now I can go back to my lasso select right here and I'm just going to take a little area at a time and cut it away. We're going to get close here. Nothing really fancy. And we'll just go with that for right now. Uh, you know, I didn't close it, so we'll see. Yep, it still works. Okay, so basically uh, that's how you get rid of the big stuff, right there. Now, we'll move on. Oops, what did I do there? Ah, hit the wrong button. Okay, so you get the point on that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to use my eraser tool to erase more of the background. and I've got my eraser set on two. I like to use a bigger setting than two unless I'm getting really tight in with something that I need to do, do a lot of uh, editing on. Now this part here I'm not going to go through and do the entire apple but I'll just give you a sense of what's going on here. So what you want to do here is you want to just maintain as close as humanly possible to the edge of your apple. Now the thing about the erase tool is you'll want to unclick very often. The reason being, let's say you go all the way around your apple in one fell swoop and you're just doing so good and you think everything's groovy and then all of a sudden, whoop, there you go. Okay, now all that work you've done you have to uh, undo by hitting edit undo and you've gotten rid of all of the good stuff that you've taking your time on. So I like to go about that far and then about that far and then say that far and then when I do something like this and I hit edit undo I'm only doing the last action. So just keep that in mind as you go through and you do all of these edits. So just get close to the apple and remember now that we've taken our uh, image and we've expanded it 
uh, to many times the size that it actually is. Uh, let me undo that. I, undo. I wasn't really paying attention. So I'm back to my lasso tool and where I have big areas here that I want to get rid of, I just come along with the lasso tool and I cover those up and I hit delete and I've gotten rid of that. So between the lasso tool and the uh, uh, eraser you're able to get rid of as much of that as you want to. So now remember we've resized our image. I'm not going to go ahead and crop this whole thing because it would be a you know 20 minute video. But this is how you would go about doing this with a uh, complex background. Like if you want to get an X out of a picture or something like that, you know, or you've got a photo that you want to do something with. So anyway, uh, remember that in order to maintain the transparency, you have to save it as a PNG file. Don't know why that is, but uh, JPEG doesn't seem to work on this, so you will save it as a PNG and we've saved that. And I've gone ahead and taken a uh, backgrounded blank web page and put my original image in there. So uh, that was JPEG, so I'm going to change that to PNG. And I'm using Notepad++, by the way, in case you're interested. And we'll save. And we go back to our image and the new image is there and you can see the transparency in the background except that I just have to go ahead and clean up all of these edges with the eraser tool. This is going to take quite a bit of time but it's uh, worth doing if you want to get a real good picture in there and you don't want to pay a whole lot of money for a very expensive uh, image editing program. And that's about it. Thank you for watching my video. Okay, so I've finished cleaning up my apple and, uh, you know, for the most part, if I really wanted it to be perfect and definitely wanted to use it in something, I would maybe do a little bit more. It took me about 10 minutes or so, so, of course, I shut the video off while I was doing that. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I resized it back to the size it was, I save it, and go back to my web page where I've got the uncleaned apple there. Uh, basically all I did was just continue to erase. I modified the size of it and erased it. Now what I'm looking at here is I've still got some crummy stuff on the outside. So I'm going to do, uh, in order to be able to see that crummy stuff I've got on the outside, I'm going to add a new layer. And on that new layer I'm going with black my color fill tool, fill the layer in black. Okay, so now I'm going to select my front layer and I need to move that on top of the black layer, which I do with this arrow right here, and now I can see what's going on. So I will resize my image back up and I typically add a thousand pixels. So we'll do that. And this edge isn't perfect, but it's, you know, I'll have to do. So we go for the eraser tool again, and we get rid of this stuff here. You can't really see that with the invisible background, so it's always good to put a good background underneath what you do. And clean up a little bit of this. Remember to unclick when you're using the eraser because you can erase a whole bunch of stuff and then one little slip you got to start all over again. Okay. I think that's just about got it where I want it to be. See a couple of things here and there. Any, anywhere you see a little spot. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of my background. I'm going to image, resize, and this is why I use a round number of a thousand. That way I, all I got to do is uh, a thousand off. It's real easy to remember. And I'm going to save this image. There wants to be a pin shop or a paint.net file, but we want it to be a pin file. So we'll 
Got that. Replace what I have. Yes. Okay. And it's going to have to flatten this time. So we go back to the web page and we see the little bit of crumbs in there have disappeared. Uh, so there's other modifications that you can do as well. Uh, for example, if you don't particularly care for the color, and let's say you just want a green apple. Okay, we'll just highlight that and we'll hit uh, adjustments, hue saturation, and voila, we have a green app. So, kind of interesting things you can do to play around with uh, colors and things of that nature, which is probably a different video. Anyway, back to uh, our apple. Uh, we now have an apple, and uh, it has an invisible background. So uh, play around with that and enjoy. If you can afford a uh, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar program to do all of this, you might get a better result. And uh, but this is what you can do on free stuff. Thanks.